your host, Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Oh, man. Each week, my co-host, Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreher, and I will take a look at the various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings tonight. We are taking a look at a film called Two Heads Creek. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Uh, well, let's find out who's here first. Uh, Chip Moore, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, but I beg to differ. I know you have problems with English, but it's two heads crick. Crick? That's it. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, for joining us tonight is Crystal Cleveland, the living dead girl. How you doing? Great background, by the way. Oh, thanks. I, I'm good. I was kind of thinking about throwing a barbed wire boomerang at Jeff for his comment, mm -hmm. but you know, it's cool. It's cool. I, I like that idea. I like that idea. Yes, we're going down under and who better to go down under with? Oh, this sounds weird. The only one and only Dave Dreher. <laughs> How are you doing, Dave? What? <laughs> that was the proper Creek. response. I, I am I am team I am team Creek, by the way, just so you know. I'm team, team Creek. Creek. Not yes, team, team Creek. Creek. No, not oh. team Creek. No, right. team Creek. I, no, I, I don't think Crick exists. No. Um, that's, that's something you get in the neck. You get a crick in your neck. Yes, well, that, well, yes. that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do yeah. that. All right. I, I, I always fight when growing up, I always went down to the crick to play. I did too. Well, that you, answers a lot. That, 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 that's crawl that room. A lot of questions. Crawl that room the crick. All right. Each each episode, we review a new streaming video on demand horror film. And like I yeah. said, tonight is Two Heads Creek. Uh, this film is from director Jesse O'Brien, writer Jordan Waller. The cast includes Carrie Armstrong, Catherine Wilder, and Gary Sweet. It is arriving on uh, VOD from Horror Collective. They are putting out some fun stuff this year. June 23rd, 2020. So as we're recording, it is out. So look for this. Uh, the synopsis goes, a timid butcher and his drama queen a twin sister <laughs> quit the hostile confines of post-Brexit Britain to adventure to Australia in search of their birth mother. Uh, but seemingly tolerant townsfolk are hiding a dark, <laughs> meaty secret. I like this. Um. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give our first impressions. And up first tonight is Dave Dreher. Dave, what is your hey. first impression? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, I went into this. I literally just watched this like within 15 minutes of us recording this. Uh, and I had no idea what it was. Didn't even know this movie existed. Hadn't watched the trailer. So I was really, really pleasantly surprised with how much freaking fun this movie is. Uh, quirky and weird and uh, bloody. Uh, and uh, I want a Morris t-shirt. I need Morris! a Morris t-shirt. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what, what, uh, yeah, he, he was great. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's. I don't know. I don't, I really, honestly, having just watched it, I, I don't know quite how to pigeonhole this one, what this is. But it's uh, gory and fun <laughs> and quirky. All those things I just previously mentioned. Uh, I want to watch it again because I have a feeling I've missed quite a bit. It kind of reminded me. I had nothing to do with it whatsoever. But like Shaun of the Dead with kind of those little in jokes. Mm -hmm. And making fun of uh, of the culture, you know, mm -hmm. like they did in uh, in Shaun of the Dead. I, I kind of got little pieces of that, and some of the kills were fantastic. Some of the uh, uh, some of the devices used. You mentioned the barbed wire boomerang. That was a lot <laughs> I of fun. Love that. Uh, yeah. So my first impression is uh, uh, this one's kind of a, a silent home run. And in the park, oh. and in the park home run, yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah, I, I, I watch it. I will watch it again. It's, it's praise for uh, to be sure. All right, I'll stumble over that sentence. All right, up next is the one and over only over only over 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 is Jeff Moore. <laughs> Jeff, what is your first impression of Two Heads Creek? A uh, Two Heads Creek is a fun film <laughs> <laughs> with lots to go. I don't know why you guys watch. I, I, oh no. It's another excellent uh, um, horror comedy from Australia. It's just out there. Uh, let's just say one of the main characters in the film is a machine known as the Big Boy 3000. Mm, yes. <laughs> Meat grinder. Meat <laughs> Large grinder. enough to grind uh, several uh, 
let's call them creatures at the same time. <laughs> it's full of eccentric characters. I just, I absolutely love it. The brother and sister, Annabelle and Norman, Catherine Wilder and Jordan Waller, who incidentally was the was the uh, writer on this, oh. are really, really well-developed characters. They did a great job interacting and playing off each other, I thought. You've got the mysterious German Hans, who seems to kind of be in charge at Two Heads Crick. Eric, the goofball, who is, a, I loved him, the bartender and reception at the hotel, uh, receptionist at the hotel, uh, who wears these really weird half shirts with <laughs> the tank tops short, with cut off <laughs> shorts. Yeah, <laughs> tank tops with, throughout the movie. Uh, and he made me the probably the least weird. That's, the <laughs> <person> <laughs> <I had. laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, of course, he talked about you talked about Don Bridges, Uncle Morris. He was awesome, and we can talk about a particular scene maybe later. But I just enjoyed the crap out of this movie, and you know, it, it was fun. It was fun, and and you know, if if you could think of the way horror comedy has gone recently in Australia, I think this this kind of fits in that. I don't want to say a mold because it's unique unto itself, but it's uh, it it reinforces what they're doing down there yeah i enjoyed the crap out of that i like that i like that that's cool all right up uh, next is the one and only living dead girl crystal cleveland what is your first impression of two heads creek 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 is that creek. is that what that's i heard that's 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 so uh basically uh this is like an inbred comical nightmare in the best way possible <laughs> i mean it's like it's ridiculous. Inbred. It's but what's shocking is it's kind. It's very comical and very yes, like Shaun of the Dead. It's not completely campy though. There are definitely it's moments. Actually, I think both of our movies tonight are like oh, oh both of the movies we watched this week. <laughs> Oops, my bad. But yes, this specifically, like um, I thought that some of the comedy was absolutely hilarious and i don't care if you know anything about what's going on in australia or what their sort of makeup in their community is you still get it all i mean it all makes sense to me i don't completely understand um how they relate them to cannibals and oh my gosh there's so much stuff here <laughs> i think that i don't i I feel like I'm just gonna like give it all away, but there, there's so much going on. There's, a, but the story is really kind of sad in a way. I think I thought too hard, maybe a little bit too, because I was thinking <laughs> about these kids. So I love that they're twins, and I love that the one twin, the guy, is basically a pussy, and the girl is like this big, strong awesomeness like i mean she is totally my spirit animal the way she chugs a beer and all that sort of stuff but you know i i enjoyed it a lot i think it's definitely one of those movies that you're that you just kind of want to sit back and have a beer with literally yeah and, yeah and chill out and watch yeah it's not <laughs> I, I found myself chuckling but i didn't like die laughing out loud but it's a great watch it's very entertaining it's very fun i can't imagine that any horror fan wouldn't enjoy it and there is a lot of creepy gore and some just spooky moments too there's, there's some know. great great dismemberment going on here we'll yeah talk about that in yeah a bit. so that's always good too members are dissed or something like <laughs> <Wow>. that <laughs> members all right well, let's uh, let's see. Uh, my impression is, I love this. There, there is a great uh, solo <laughs> musical number in this as well, mm. uh, which is actually quite amazing for what it is. And uh, but these these guys, uh, they, they, oh, yeah, they, oh my god, they're actually quite hilarious. The 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 the, tw the twin brother and sister, <laughs> and yeah, um, I I will admit that I was a little concerned at first when they were in Brexit, right over in England. They, it wasn't quite landing with me, but by the time they get to Two Heads Creek in Australia and things start kicking in, it gets bonkers, and then bonkers more and bonkers more and. Yeah, there's all kinds of gore. There's all kinds of uh, hilarious shenanigans going on. There, it is. Uh, there are surprises. 
what else can you say? I mean, it's it's all kind of fun and exciting. And uh, yeah, I this this was this was the uh, this was the comedy the horror comedy break I needed at this time. It, it really hit the spot, and I and I loved it. Yeah. Uh, so wow, uh, yet again. But wait, okay. It, when they're in England, how could you not love? You're a Polish prick with a baby's dick. <laughs> I almost died when I heard that. Okay, that teenager saying that to him, I was like, I'm dead. I cannot handle this movie. Right now. Yeah, that little girl throwing shit. Can, see what? Yeah. Yeah, they were, the little oh. sister. Then his sister comes out, tells them off, and they all run away. She scares the hell out. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. I love the um, sister. Yeah. All right. There's so much going on. I mean, speaking of sisters, you know, there's everybody's related in Two Heads Creek. <laughs> it, just, it just comes back to get them and haunt them. And uh, but we got to find out uh, what each of us thought of certain areas. And and Dave, I always start with you. Uh, and we got to talk about the gore because oh, there was a lot of it. About halfway, the gore kicks in. Uh, yeah. Just, just give me a favorite. Give me a couple of highlights in the gore. Oh my god, a couple highlights on the gore. There were so many. I mean, there's so many decapitations and uh, nutsack rippings and uh, <laughs> guttings and arrows. <laughs> and, uh, god, it's just it's just everywhere. But it was all good. I mean, it was all. Are really good. Even some of the close-up stuff was good when she's uh, uh, when she's sewing up his leg after the after Morris comes in with the uh, with the, the fork. fork. <laughs> 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 she's laying there sleeping with the headphones on, doesn't hear a thing. It was too funny. Uh, but uh, I mean, even that looked good. You know, it, it really did. But I don't know if I have an actually an actual favorite gore scene in this. I got to watch it again to really to to get into that but the the final decapitation again i don't want to give anything away but the the final decapitation uh is 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 pretty impressive because we see it from above and we see the head spin up oh yeah that, that, that looked that looked i really did enjoy good. that yeah yeah there had to be some digital work there but it was pretty flawless i mean it was uh it was very very well done but for but really even with all the blood in this for me though it's the characters that landed this one for me it really the comedy, did. Huh? Comedy yeah character. yeah that really landed it for me and, and that morris guy in particular was just killing me the, uh guy. yeah he was just yeah. uh i i waited to see him yet again i was, I was like come on give me more <laughs> morris especially uh, yeah. on the musical number right yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh well let, let's keep it up with the the characters there jeff and, and tell, tell tell us about morris this describe morris to our audience this character uh morris is the typical uh incorrigible old coot <laughs> that pretty much says whatever the hell he wants but you can't understand him yeah no, and, you can't understand him <laughs> and people put up with him and then he's he's like teaching us an australian slang class <laughs> i guess to to these visitors these immigrants or i guess they're visitors from out of out of uh, international no, they're they do say in immigrants because yeah. they're taking care of the immigrant oh, problem. oh that's right the immigrant that's problem. Right. and actually there is a there is a story behind that yeah so um in reality the so yeah that that's pretty funny and then and then uh oh i forget i forget what the what's the one what's the brother's name oh god i don't remember any of the names uh oh no i don't remember either norman so. norman, <laughs> norman, right. norman 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 comes in and and uh Ask them something. Did you do such and such? And then they get into this whole, yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> and the, and the, the Asian guy keeps translating for him. <laughs> Actually, that's my favorite. He's like, oh, that's God, awesome. when he's translating, that is ridiculous. <laughs> it's and he runs into his runs into his room with a with a like a, a meat fork and starts stabbing him maniacally in the thigh it's just a, yeah, I, he, he's a great character he's a great i wasn't character. sure if he was a, if it was a dream sequence or not at first because of the way they shot it and then yeah. when it turned out to be real i was like what the hell <laughs> 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 it was hilarious he reminded um, me of an old guy in some of the old westerns you know but it obviously couldn't be that guy because that guy looked like that like in 1950 <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> but but he looked just like it. Hey, what, are you, what are you doing, John? Get, get yeah, over here and get uh, that horse up on the cab. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the comedy there, uh, Living Dead Girl. Uh, mm -hmm. what, you said that the uh, the <laughs> the girl in Brexit was killing you. Uh, who else was oh funny? Uh, talk about the like the the one that 
Sang the uh, her husband and they're actually everyone is funny in this. I think they all have like a role to play within this. Like he, you know, like the one brother is you know weak and subdued. The sister as like you know the protector of the macho man. I mean, straight. You yeah, know, God, they have a lot of really funny moments as far as like physical humor. Like, oh, I don't know, penis in the lap. <laughs> that was you know, that old gag. Oh. You know, everyone loves a good. Penis in the lap. And he's tied up and he can't get get he's trying to shake it off. Yeah. It's like the <laughs> but but really it's uh, the language is hilarious. Yes. And I'm just thankful that I could understand most of it. Now I have never been to Australia and like the whole I a no, yeah. I figure it's like the Canadians A. Eh? you know sort of thing so i was able to get behind that but the translation is where it really got me and then how they flubbed up morris oh my gosh it's oh they so, got them all they got them all tied they're like yeah. they're like mm -hmm, what happened they kind of they they brought out some gags here and you know as i'm actually thinking about this the more i think about it the funnier it's getting it is like it i is. think i should watch it again because i think i'll laugh even more i think a lot of stuff was missing because oh, it was the whole running yeah. gag with the uh, laxative commercial what? or the laxative yes. ad oh, yes. oh my gosh oh, my yes because she's an actor oh, okay, okay, so stool away yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then that, that little girl comes up and wants the autograph and rips it all up. It's just, yeah, I know it's Jane, Jane with a Y. Okay, but what about okay? Back in England, see another funny part. What about him translating for the women at the funeral? The oh, wait oh, for yeah, the mother. Yeah. The more, the oh more my gosh, that was so funny. He's like, oh yeah, oh, and they're like, oh, you were used to be big. <laughs> 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 Um, I was like, oh. Mm. <laughs> nice. what, one, one thing I liked is there's a lot of really cool shots. Uh, when they're in the house, this house, uh, you know, 66, right? Mom lives in 66. And they go in there and this this uh, this blade comes out of the ceiling. And it's just shot really <laughs> well. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that, yeah. Was their, that was their uh, their homage to uh, Crocodile Dundee because the girl goes, now that's a uh, nice. That's a nice. <laughs> that's a nice. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, well, I mean, they do it later too when they're throwing knives and the and the boomerang and other things. You know, there's there's a number of shots where we get weapon point of view. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, so it is really well shot too. It looks great and it's hilarious. And I, I think we're saying it's a win. So uh, with that, let's do our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. But before we do that, if you are liking what's happening here, subscribe below. Let us know what you think. Leave us a note. <laughs> Leave us a note down below, uh, and, uh, and 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 ring that bell so you get subscribed, <laughs> so you get notified, and and uh, hit the like button or the down button. We've had people hit the down button. You can do that too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's new. That's new. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Final thoughts, Dave. You're up first. Go, boy. Well, I think we've kind of said it all, uh, and uh, Doc, you said it best. It's a winner. Uh, fun, quirky. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Uh, I think we covered this one quite well. I'm going to give this a solid, solid four. Uh, it might even creep up a little bit with some repeated viewings. Um, a favorite scene. I got to go with our introduction to, uh, to Morris. Morris was such a huge factor in this film for me. And the first time we see him, I can't remember exactly what he says, but it's something like, uh, fuck off you fucking pussy or something like that. It's just, <laughs> just the, the, the way he does it. You guys will know when you see it, you'll understand. Oh, uh, classic. Yeah. It, it really <laughs> truly is. So, uh, yeah, two heads Creek, a really, really pleasant surprise. Loved it. Oh, nice. I like that. All the gore in this movie, and you pick. I know. Uh, Morris, you pick old, Morris beats it. Morris beats it. Fuck it. All right. All right. <laughs> Jeff Moore, you're up next. What's your final thoughts? Your score favorite scene? Two hits. Well, we haven't said anything about Apple and Noah, who is the Apple is the uh, blonde who is the tour guide on the bus. The, the singer, yeah. Uh, the singer, yeah, she, and, yeah. And her husband, Noah. Uh, what really? They're such a cute couple. And she gets turned on by the way he ties people up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get so hot. When, the way what about her it. karaoke? Her karaoke oh, was like a Kiss Lord. concert. Oh, my God. It was that's amazing. right. That's right. And so that's that. And I'm giving this a four as well. And that is going to be my favorite scene, the karaoke scene. Oh, uh, not just her, but also Morris. Yes. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Morris on, on piano. Whatever he was. Yes. Morris on piano. Was, yes. 
<laughs> and he's got the wig. Oh my God, it's great. Yes. And, and yes. what's the song, Jeff? Because you you text the song off to us. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm I'm not a. I don't even know is that is that considered a metal song? But it's a horror movie right there on my TV, on TV and it's yeah. shocking me right out of my brain. Yes. By the skyhook. By the yes. skyhook. Yeah, uh, so. Never, never heard it before, but it was great. All right, up next is Crystal Cleveland. Crystal, what is your final thoughts? Your score, favorite scene, two head screen. Obviously, we all agree that you should watch this. It's awesome. It's funny. It's cute. It's got a lot of gore, a lot, a lot, a lot of gore, which is awesome. And I would normally pick a gory scene, but I'm also not going to pick a gory scene for my favorite scene. I'm going to give this, I would say, I was going to say a 3.75, but no, I'm going to stick with it. I kind of want to bump it up. I bet if I watched it again, I would bump it up, but 3.75. And my favorite scene is so silly, but I just, it's the PowerPoint at the funeral. I did not like the PowerPoint. Like, it, I actually, okay, if you know the group good. crew, it made me think of Bill Mulligan, okay? And so that's even funnier. And I was just dead with the photos. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, please, no more. But please more. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. All right. I, I too, uh, love this film. And uh, I'm going to give it a four. So, you know, this, this has top 10 material for it. And it's be interesting because uh, here in the next couple of weeks, we're going to do kind of a how the year is shaping up uh, podcast here. Uh, so look for that. And uh, will this one make the list? I, I kind of suspect it might, but there's also a lot of competition this year. Believe yeah. it or not, believe it or not, we've reviewed quite a few really good movies, uh, but man, horror comedy, this, this really, it, it nailed it. Uh, my favorite scene I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say toward the end when they they have the final showdown and and our trio of characters uh, is a, it might be four characters by the time are kind of walking down the street and they all have a, well it's only three at this point because they're trying to save the one right and they all have their weapons and they've they've already done the montage and then they're coming down the street right <laughs> and uh, and then our hero the goofball that he is gets whoof. <laughs> he gets <laughs> he gets tied up. You know, and one of those slings that go up like a tree sling, and then the, the girls got to kick ass, and they do, and it's awesome, bloody, gory, and they no, they they just they rip them to shreds, and it's every bit of it. This is, I think all he does to do all he does uh, to help is to throw the knife to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or he's he's pretty That's useless. Why it's so funny. That's yeah. why it's so funny. It's, he's yeah. so sad. Yeah, because he yeah yeah. 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 It's what can you do? Right. All right. Well, there you go. That's our review for two heads Creek. Uh, if you've seen it and want to comment about, be sure to do that below, or you can write us at uh, feedback at gruesome magazine, go to gruesome magazine.com. Check us out there or find us on Facebook. Any way you want to do it, uh, please do. We'd love to hear from you. And for those who have commented before on the previous ones, thank you so much. Uh, we'd love hearing from you. And uh, we hope you enjoy this and we'll come back for our next episode to find out what that movie may be. Dum -ba -ba. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, I want to thank you, Dave, Jeff, Crystal, for joining me today. Thanks yeah, no. for having me. Thank you, Sir Doc. Sir Doc. Oops, Sir Doc. Uh oh. Sir Doc. I dug right. the Sir Doc. Oh, you. <laughs> you. Yeah. You. You wacky kids. All Is right. That anything like Zardoc? Sardoz. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to wear that outfit one day, and you're going to wish you never said that. All right. <laughs> with that, let's say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.